the following question reads that uh, structural isomerism and stereoisomerism as well. So the question is focusing on stereoisomers as well. Uh, should be considered when answering the question. How many isomers with the formula C5H10 having structures that involve pi bonding? When he refers to pi bonding, he's basically talking about uh, double bonds. So there should be uh, carbon, double bond, carbon. Uh, it should be unsaturated. These bonds must be present. That's, which is why uh, double bonds have pi bonds. So this molecule over here is a 5 carbon atom molecule. So I'm going to figure out different ways if I can have 5 carbon atoms arranged. So one way is that they could be arranged in a linear manner. All of them connected one after the other. And they could be a double bond. They must be a double bond. So let's put the double bond at the end. There could be another version of this molecule where the double bond another isomer of the molecule where the double bond could be on the second carbon atom so you can put the double bond over here now in a straight chain that is the only uh, two possible structures that i can come up with because to add, but putting the double bond over here would mean the same thing or over here would mean the same thing as these two so these are the only possible uh, isomers when you're dealing with straight chain molecules now we're going to talk about uh, branched because i need to come up with more uh, isomers now with branch, this is one thing, four carbon atoms in a row and a carbon attached on one of the carbon atom, a branch attached. So that's one and I can figure, I'm now going to try and figure out how many places can I put the double bond. So one place would be that I can have a double bond uh, over here. That's, uh, that's one isomer. Now having the double bond over here or over here would mean exactly the same thing because both of these carbon atoms are coming out of the same carbon atom. So it would just be a twisted or rotated version or a flipped version of the same molecule. Uh, the other isomers could be so these over here are my two other isomers, uh, double bond on the middle carbon atom or uh, this one, let me uh, sort of correct this, the double bond could be at the carbon on the end. Now in this molecule, the left and right side are different because it's not a symmetric molecule, so this molecule is going to be different from this molecule. Uh, so these are the three possible uh, isomers with four carbon atoms in a row and one carbon atom branched. Now the other version could be that you can have three carbon atoms in a row and one carbon atom branch, one carbon atom branch. That's another version that's... Uh, but that version is not possible because we need to add a double bond. A double bond cannot be added simply because if I add a double bond, the number of bonds of the middle carbon atom, they would increase. They would become greater than five. So you can't have this carbon atom over here. So this molecule would not be possible. So, you, so you're left with these five uh, structural isomers. Now, remember the question was about uh, stereoisomers as well. So, I'm going to try and find how many stereoisomers are possible. So, here I've uh, added all the hydrogens as well just to see stereoisomers. Uh, <coughs> I'm only interested in cis trans isomers because that's what I get when there are double bonds present. So, for cis trans, there has to be a double bond and both carbon atoms must be bonded to two different groups. So, the first one is not going to be a cis trans isomer because both sides there is hydrogen attached. The second one is going to be cis trans because there's a double bond and on both sides there is hydrogen over here and a CS3 group on this side, a hydrogen over here and a CS3, CH2 group on this side. So this one is going to be existing in the form of cis and trans isomers. The next molecule over here, the isomer that I drew, again no cis trans because both sides there is hydrogen. Uh, this one over here is again not going to form cis trans because on both sides there is the same type of group attached it has to be different groups and this one would also not be cis trans because on both sides there would be hydrogens attached so it's not going to form cis trans so only this molecule over here is going to form cis trans so just to clarify further uh this was the molecule i was talking about forming cis trans uh, so you can see the double bond both sides two different groups both sides two different groups so there could be a cis version remember double bond the carbon is trigonal planar so the arrangement is uh, fan shaped, uh, 120 degree angle. So the two hydrogens could be pointing in the same direction. This would be your cis version of the molecule. And this molecule over here, uh, this side would be switched. The H instead of pointing upwards would be pointing downwards. And the CST would be pointing upwards. So that would be your trans version of the molecule. So going back and let's count the total number of isomers that we have come up with. Uh, that's one. Then two. This would be counted as two isomers. There would be a cis and a trans. So it's one, two, three four, five, and six. So the answer, the correct answer is going to be six for this question.